Day one, Europe and Portugal. The town of Praia Vitoria. Praia de Vitoria. And volcanoes, lots of volcanic activity. The camera's sitting on a wall made of basalt. There's a scoria cone. So he uses a fault scarp that sits in a normal fault. Lots of tectonic and volcanic activity. Day two at uh, Scaurus Naturalis Biscoitos. Biscuits Naturalis de Biscoitos. A natural basalt pools, but I didn't come on a very good day. It's pretty rough today. Some of the biggest waves I've ever seen. It's fucking fierce. are inside a volcano Angra do Carvao Angra do Heroisma atop uh, one of the peaks of Mont Brasil the end Portugal it's a giant hydrovolcano a glassy fragmental volcanic rocks crucial point in the defense of the island. There's a mili old military base down at the bottom, visual and optical telegraphy with identifying crafts that are coming in from a distance and having signals relayed optically, visually to other parts of the islands to notify them. This is day four in Europe. The outstanding view. cat colony you know they're all sterilized and dewormed there's another one there's another one and this one's coming right up to me i saw about three or four on the way up it's just a colony of cats on this mountain it's awesome <laughs> that's lisbon over there Geronimo's Monastery. Look at this fucking line. I'm not going in that monastery. Today I'm in Quinto de Regreria. Sintra, Spain, a rich man who's obsessed with medieval architecture and gothic things and the Knights Templar, secret passages, all underground, they built to make it look like natural caves. Inverted towers. <laughs> that go down into the ground, deep into the ground, at the bottom of which there is a Knights Templar symbol. <laughs> speculated that he might have been held secret ceremonies here for Knights Templar initiation ceremonies of 19th century. Faro de Formosa National Park. Southernmost point in Portugal on the Algarve coast, a protected area, and it is a large coastal lagoon spanning approximately 60 kilometers. Uh, barrier spit islands that protect an inland lagoon. There's over 200 species of birds, that salt marshes, and tidal flats, and inlets. This green part, seagrass meadows, and the water flow is controlled by the tides plants that keep the dunes in place, retain water, temperature, uh, wind, and burial resistant. Economically, a uh, pretty important place in Portugal for at least 2,000 years. Salt pans, salt out of the salt water to fish.
fishing, now ecotourism. Day 16 in Europe. This is La, De La Deserta, the desert island. There's no actual inhabitants here, but there is <laughs> one restaurant on the island. And Casa de Pilatos, Casa de Pilatos, which is a prime example of a royal palace. The royal palace, 15th century. Thing behind me is the garden. Intricate ornamentation, both wooden and plaster, and rock sculptures, very well preserved in Seville, which rivals the Alcazar with pressed tiles. <laughs> Impressive structure to be sure. It's five o'clock, and there go the bells. Tower inside, climbing the Carada Tower, and inside the cathedral. days around with kite surfing capital of Europe. Land across the water you see there is North Africa. That's Morocco. Well, they just spent the last two hours trying to use a kite. Faro del Castillo. Called us the little sister of Alhambra, which is found in Granada. This is Alcatraba. This is the Comunito del Rey. Comunito del Rey, or the brainchild of Rafael Banumio. Now, designed a canal to channel the water up 100 meter levels. Channel water 100 meters uphill for irrigation. That would uh, be for agriculture for the whole Malaga area. Hydroelectric power generating station. 
the walkways along the sides of the cliffs for the workers to maintain the canal. To maintain the canal. Comanito del Rey actually means the king's little walk. But the king's little walk of uh, King Alfonso the 13th, somewhere about 100 meters up. Comanito del Rey. Manito del Rey. I've just biked nearly four kilometers uphill and I'm fucking dead. Presa de Kentar. Reservoir and dam. Well, very Hooverish. The reservoir down here is just this beautiful turquoise kind of green. And this is peaceful. Kentar, Spain. Kentar! Presa de Kentar. Dam and reservoir. I am able to breathe. There's no tourists here. Four and a half kilometers uphill kind of fucking drained me, but I think it was well worth it to not be surrounded by 300 other people trying to do the same thing at the same time. Just some random thing in a nowhere town. It's awesome. This is day 36. Vega region of Granada, halfway between the capital and Sierra Nevada, in the town of Dudar, walked part of the famous Camino de Santiago trail, pilgrimage trail, about three kilometers of it from Gentar to here. An aqueduct that was put here in the 19th century when there was a mining gold rush going on. 14 kilometers in extent, 12 and a half meters high, three meters wide, uh, almost 200 years old. I collected water from 920 meters above sea level, channeled it here for the purposes of gold mining. Zero tourists. I'm the only one here. Day 37. The most intact portion of the Canal de los Franceses. You'll see the pillars that used to hold up the aqueduct still intact. The next. Dadar, Spain. The second partially intact part of the uh, aqueduct here in Dadar. A lot of garbage around the base. I ran into about 10 dogs on the way up here. I think I crossed through several private properties. Some guy was yelling, Dajar, Dajar, which I think is leave. He just hadn't shut up since it's seen me. The aqueduct in uh, Dadar. considered to be very accessible and variable in its nature. Whether you're climbing under rocks or over suspension bridges, the longest of which is above me at 63 meters in length, and 89 kilometer hike in a loop. The gorges, there's waterfalls, and I'm about to call this very cold waterfall here. <laughs> Massage on the head. And this is a, a group from the El Granado Hostel. Ruta de los Pajoros Monachil, Spain.
And now we cross the 63 meter suspension bridge I stood below in the waterfall. And there it is. Cojoros, Cojoros. The viewpoint, it's just peaceful up here, less crowded. It's a nice winding hike. Steel handles along bars along the river. Several suspension bridges. No swim in a waterfall. And there you have it. There's the Alhambra, big sister to the Alcazaba. No tickets to get inside that place, and maybe coming to Viewpoint on my last day was a bad idea because this is a fucking scene just to look at a sunset. Apparently, this palace is just amazing inside. The Alcazaba pales in comparison to it. But... Oh well. Yep. In Valencia, Spain, just outside of the city of arts and sciences, 1700 square meter garden covered by this cool ass metal structure, arches. 55 and 54 fixed and floating arches, respectively, and it holds a, a range of species. Les Arts et les Sciences, the city of arts and sciences in Valencia, the most modern and important tourist destinations in Spain, especially in Valencia. One of Spain's 12 treasures. Now to my right, Le Hemispheric, building designed to look like an eye, hemispherical 900 square meter immersive IMAX screen, the eye of knowledge. Further down behind it is the actual Museo de Sciences, 26,000 square meters of exhibition area used inside. The building was designed to look like a whale skeleton. Whale skeleton like structure of the science center, and the eye of knowledge. And from my left up top is the Umbracol. Umbracol, botanical garden, La Oceanographique, largest aquarium in Europe. Over 46,000 specimens consisting of 500 different aquatic species. The city of arts and science. Overlooking the city of Nice, France. It's the Bay of Angels, Bay of Nice, Promenade de Anglaise, Old Town, Nice. The Colline du Chateau name comes from a castle that once stood on this hill, the remains of which are partially here. Military citadel for almost a millennium. King Louis XIV come dismantled it in 1706. One of the better views I've come across.
hours ago, I just received word yesterday that dad had a heart attack in the hospital and uh, intubated. I, and I spoke to the doctor over FaceTime and uh, I'm waiting to hear back word from mom. I'm sitting here trying to decide what the fuck to do. I'm like 48 days into my Europe trip. Pretty shitty turn of events. And I don't really know what to do. I've got quite a bit of crying out. This is where I am right now and this is what is happening. I just, I just spoke to mom. Um, dad's, dad's gone. They didn't go ahead with the dialysis and uh, they put, took the tubes out and he was gone in about 10 minutes. He died about 40 minutes ago. So, dad's dead. Bye. Bye, dad. Dad died yesterday. I decided to go on with my plan to come to Monaco. It's a very beautiful place. I just live on the terrace of the Museum de Oceanographic. I'm gonna head to the Monte Carlo and see if they let me in so I can gamble the guy's name. in the Monte Carlo Casino. I'm about to go in and gamble for dad. I just lost 105 euros. Remember that? Blackjack slots. It's probably time to go. Dad was cremated yesterday. Siena, Italy. You know, with uh, my old friend Jean. Fortresa de, de Medicia, which is a, a fortress built in the 1500s that has these extremely broad walls, single entrance, and on top of these broad walls, completely built of bricks, are these very wide walkways, which I'm standing on. The Duomo de Siena, that houses some sculptings from Michelangelo and uh, Donatello. In the middle is the Basilica de San Francisco, Tower on my right, Torre de Mangia. Torre de Mangio. It's quite a beautiful place. It's very, very medieval. Go see the torture museum. Gruesome torturing shit in this place. Medieval shit. The main public space, the center of the town, and the door of bricks in the ground are laid out to resemble a seashell when viewed from above. One of Europe's greatest medieval squares, a horse race is held. Barebacks horses around the periphery of this square. Rome, the ancient aqueduct, this time joined by my good friend, Dr. Gene Schmidt. Hello. Good evening. Series of seven different aqueducts, one of the oldest, from 200 BC, 170 BC. 
made out of tuff of volcanic rock to the city, to the north, to the south, to a volcano. Various repairs done over centuries, almost 100 kilometers in here. And there you have it. Thank you, sir. And good evening. <laughs>
I sleeping in the basement would wear earplugs, which sometimes still weren't enough. He see, just, just briefly strangled me. <laughs> he smacked me so hard I beat myself. You know what? No bark. He grabbed my ankle and shook me like a ketchup bottle. The juvenile snapping turtle in his hands, which he proceeded to toss into the bathtub as he squealed. His pride in his well-kept Chevy pickup. He'd say, well, that's good for me. I may be more like him than I know, but pointy nose with a double cowlick head, ridiculous and everlasting sense of humor. We celebrate the complete and absolute gem of a man he was. Here's cheers to Kaj. Nasrobia. Like Holy Sotaramia, Naples Underground. 40 meters underground streets of Naples. It's excavated for the Tufa rock, used as an aqueduct. 1500 years, something like that. Huh? down there. The city of Pompeii. The ruins of Pompeii. Yes, that Pompeii. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, which covered the town in bombs and three and a half meters of pumice. The intense pyroclastic flow incinerated the entire town. I'm near the main square behind me, which is one of the most important public meeting spaces to one of the best preserved Roman amphitheaters. People that they used to have gladiator fights and uh, fight ferocious animals and the everyday person's dwellings preserved. Pompeii. Pretty spectacular. Main streets in the city of Pompeii. It's uh, Sorrento on the Amalfi Coast. Castillo Se Elmo. This is Mount Vesuvius, the very volcano, the mountain that obliterated Pompeii. The castle that we're standing on, on top of Valermo Hill, built right into the volcanic tuff, the base of it, and then the blocks that they excavated were subsequently used to build the remainder of the structure. Twisted maze with lots of ramps and embrasures along the walls. From above, the structure has a six-pointed star shape, cannons that could be situated in all directions to kill incoming enemies. In the city of Napoli, Italy. Napoli. Why? The train was split in two pieces and put on a ferry and we're going across to Sicily. Titro Antico in the small town of Terramina, Sicily. Constructed in 3rd century BC, a reconstruction in the 2nd century AD. The biggest Roman theater in Sicilian Peninsula and North Africa. Still used till this day. Mount Etna on my right, which I will be climbing tomorrow. Titro Antico, Terramina.
best I can do. I gotta get out of Catania. This is the second time I've been on the slopes of an active volcano. This is in fact the highest active volcano in Europe. Windy as fuck. Etna. It's behind that fucking cloud there. I was just up there two hours ago. I'm at the Blue Grottoes in Malta. the southeastern coast. Southeast coast of Malta. The Blue Grottoes. Six distinct large sea caves carved into the uh, carbonate rocks that make up the shorelines. Uh, pretty rough. A much cooler view. The towering cliffs behind me. Caverns forming. There's the Blue Grotto crashing through the carbonate rocks. Caverns. There's a big cave. Blue Grotto. This is some of the best scuba diving in the world around here one of the otter sites that I've seen is Popeye's Village. Oh, Popeye movie starring Robin Williams. May he rest in peace. Weird. It's apparently the entrance to King's Landing from what I understand. The Acropolis in Athens, Greece. The Acropolis in Athens, Greece. Fortified city on a hill, 150 meters above sea level. The Erichtheion. Restored and reconstructed. The city of Athens, Greece. It's the Parthenon, which is the most famous of the structures. 30 by 69 meters and 8 by 17 impressive 15 meter high pentelic marble columns in which there used to stand a nine meter tall bronze statue of Athena, sixth century BC, two and a half thousand years old. The temple of the Olympian Zeus. In sixth century BC, it was 110 meters long with 104 columns, only 16 of which survive today. It's toppled in an earthquake in the 1800s. The Temple of Zeus the Olympian. Chania, Greece, Crete, the most southern island in Greece, on, down from Gouvenetro Monastery to Catholico Bay, on this path going down to the gorge, one of one of several abandoned monasteries that I've passed, this largest structure I've seen, there's goats all over, and I'm the only one here right now, hear that? Hmm. The gorge of abandoned monasteries made it to Catholico Bay. It's a little bit choppy, but there is the Aegean Sea, the north coast of Crete.
My last stop in Europe at Santorini on the island of Thera. Scaros. Volcanic layers, use of lava flows and plastic materials. The volcano. The prehistoric city of Akrotiri, uh, 7,000 years ago. I'm in North Africa now. The Strait of Gibraltar, Tarifa, Oku Windmills, Tangier, Mirat, a sandstone outcrop, Morocco. Blue city of Morocco, Chefchouan. looking down at the sky. It's unclear why, exactly why everything is blue. Hey, he grabbed it. Yeah, I know. I guess I'm riding a camel now. <laughs> All of them. December 25th. Merry Christmas. Uh, 2023. <laughs> and after seven and a half hours of driving, a kefka tagine, some camel milk latte, a date and a ride on a four to five year old male camel named Kateam arrived in the desert in Marzuga, gateway to the Sahara. And we're here to watch the sunset and then head back to uh, camp. So this is where I am on Christmas. Merry Christmas. Studios in Ouarzazate, Morocco, that opened in 1983, the first movie of which was The Jewel of the Nile, starring Michael Douglas, was filmed here. One of the sets that was part of the movie The Mummy. Game of Thrones were filmed there. The city of Marine, where Khaleesi frees the slaves. The slave market in The Gladiator. Prince of Persia and Aladdin. The Passion of the Christ. Assassin's Creed, The Mummy Returns, Black Hawk Down. It's Kasbah Ait Bahadu. It's either built in 1047 or it's 1047 years old. One just outside Wurzazat. Oh. 
be here for New Year's. This is way better than snow. I'm here with uh, the Australian couple I met from Sweden, Emil and Mullen. And here I am. Esuera, Morocco. Dar Sultan Palace. Down the coast from the town of Tagazout, Morocco. It's Killer Point. Fishing surfers coming here. Anchor Point, Tagazout. Tagazout, Morocco. Rented a Dacia Duster driving south over 1100 kilometers to Dakwa in Western Sahara. It's a gorgeous sea arch. Morocco. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. God. Fucking air car. We're in Dakwa. Come through as well. Come on. Thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Finally made it to Dakla, Western Sahara. 11,060 kilometers, two and a half days, 14 hours of driving, uh, like 10 police checkpoints, 400 Durham and fines. Uh, we did make it. Yeah, we're in Dakla. There's a desert. That's failing. I've been in Morocco for one month today. Uh, Lagoon, Dragon Island. People have died getting caught in the current. As Andrea behind the camera. As far as we can go with our non off road vehicle, to the Dunes Blanche, the white sand dunes. Sandy, a little dicey.
shot wet east into the Sahara Desert. Terujit with sand and dust permeating the air. Maybe more boats than people. Mauritania. even sandstone. Terjit Oasis. As you can see behind me, a vegetation and ecosystem here. A dried up riverbed fed by groundwater. It's just sand and breathing in silicate sand grains. Uh, an oasis in the opposite direction. You can see that it gets drier and drier. Uh, cross sections being lithified into rock. Terjit Oasis. Town of Chingeti being swallowed by the desert. Uh, we are in Chingeti in Mauritania, and now we're really in the Sahara Desert comparative to Merzouga back in Morocco. And this is a town that's kind of being swallowed by the desert by Sahara. But we can't really tell from here. But anyways, the town's over there. And we're up here, we just 4 by 4 it up onto this massive dune. Chingeti, Mauritania, 5.51 p.m. doing one of the fucking stupidest things I decided to do. Uh, ride the iron ore train from Zurat all the way back to Naribu. And, uh, we're gonna jump on top of it filled with iron ore. Sometimes one of the longest trains in the world. Up to 200 carts. Two and a half to three kilometers long. We're gonna be on top of the train for like 18 to 20 hours. What the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> Donkeys. What are we doing here? We are on the train. I think we're about maybe in the middle. Once a day for 50 years, no exception. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, but we're, we're living on Drea's dream.
A ver. <laughs> Any regrets? Yeah, that was on time. <laughs> <laughs> Dakar, Senegal. A little more than a week of doing nothing, uh, eight days and four of which I had diarrhea. The monument de la Renaissance uh, Africa. We're gonna go walk up inside this guy's head. Dakar, Senegal. We're now inside his head. Oh. <laughs> And then some. Uh, Dakar, Senegal, religious event. Large celebration here where everybody wears white and they look to see. I don't know what he said, but he probably didn't want me to be filming or something. Yeah, the car is Senegal. Ne fuis pas, ça fait rien. I just played uh, half, which was forty minutes embarrassed myself and had to bow out so I don't break. Well, he's that saying, is here. Oh, maybe we'll go wrong. He's showing like some insecureness here. Better go. <laughs> <laughs> That's your card. That's your card. Southern Senegal. Southern Senegal in the Kazmans region. About 13 kilometers outside of the town of Kapskiring, staying at La Kibalo. I am surrounded by beach bovine. Beach bovine. I don't see anybody else on this entire beach. Kazmans region, Southern Senegal. Welcome. Hey, Welcome. This biggest tree, a uh, climbing wall of our tree house. There you have it. Me and Jan just walked approximately three kilometers down the coast of uh, Senegal from Kabrous. 
to Guinea-Bissau. We have another country to tick off the list. Beach bovine here. Yeah. This cat. Yeah. That is a bull. Maybe we should uh, <laughs> leave them. <laughs> Well, this is a crocodile, <laughs> and we are in Macau, Gambia. I've seen lots of alligators, but I've never seen a crocodile. Kachikali crocodile pool. Umio Monkey Park in Gambia. Many monkeys. These are the red variety. Some bananas and peanuts to feed to them, but we didn't have enough money for it. Monkey Park, <laughs> Gambia. Now in Wasu, in the uh, Niana, Niani district of the Gambia River, so the stone circles, burial site, been carved out of laterites from a nearby quarry, in case one or two or maybe more bodies, 500 BC. The smaller stones are placed there by people who believe in the uh, spiritual and good magic of stone circles, Gambia. 2.59 meters for one meter underground. It's for a king. <laughs> this is the River Gambia. We shall see hippos and chimpanzees soon. The River Gambia. Two hippos right there. Hippopotamus. Hippos. On a boat in the River Gambia, a few hippos, a very funny and terrifying chimpanzee action in the bushes. Indigenous to this area, they hunted to extinction, reintroduced onto three islands in the 1970s, and right now there's approximately 141 of them living on three islands in 30 to 40 member groups. One of which is named Milani. Saw a baboon scurrying up a tree as well. Yeah, the River Gambia. Outside of La Minkoto, deep in the Gambia, north of Georgetown on the north side of the River Gambia. And this is a termite mound. And this isn't even a big one in some places up to 30 meters in diameter. Soil, termite dung, saliva, cavernous structures inside, well ventilated, uh, keep the moisture in, fungal gardens inside, that help them to digest wood. Up to a million termites in one of these mounds. They are found in Africa, Australia, South America. I don't think this one is active, intersecting and devouring the tree. Oh, there's a monkey. Yeah. Looking at me. Our journey is coming 
to an end. It's been a weird time. It's been crazy. It's been frustrating. My opinions. I was ready to leave when I was in Morocco and then we went to Dakla. You said, let's do this, motherfucker. I'm trying to. Really gotten along pretty well. Sometimes coming off as an old married couple. <laughs> it's been interesting. Like two years. <laughs> yeah, spending that much time with me. In uh, Mauritania. Maybe we slept in the bed too many times together. <laughs> Do you have any closing notes? No. No, no closing notes. <laughs> Wish you luck, man. <laughs> Sunday, 10.58 p.m. Santa Scambia. Santa Scambia. <laughs> yeah, buddy! And that's all she wrote. Yeah, we did it. <laughs>